Welcome back to Android Weekly, my name is Jace, and this is where we cover the week's Android news, and sometimes that news involves corporate bloody warfare, like last week when Google dealt a blow to Apple by acquiring Nest. Nest is the thermostat company. And of course, Nest was led by former Apple employees who have now jumped ship to Google. Further dealing a blow to Apple in the home automation market, but not to worry because the senior vice president of global marketing at Apple, Phil Schiller, has now unfollowed Nest on Twitter. <laughs> Moving on to wearables, and those Google glasses are so 2013. No, now we're moving on to Google Smart contact lenses. Holy crap. Google claims their smart lenses are a painless, non-invasive, and accurate way for people suffering from diabetes to keep their blood sugar level under control. Google smart lenses work by putting a minuscule sensor, a hair thick antenna, and a chip the size of a piece of glitter between two contact lenses. The sensor in the contact with the tears naturally found on the surface of the eye can take readings of glucose levels once per second. The lens can communicate with an external device and receive the power it needs wirelessly. Now for all you people who think this is just too sci-fi for 2014, just remember that only a few short years ago, all of these 15 devices you could buy at Radio Shack can now be done more effectively with this one device. Moving on to a new augmented reality game. Google's Niantic Labs will work with HarperCollins to create an augmented reality game based on the upcoming young adult trilogy, Endgame, by controversial author James Fry. Do you remember who James Fry is? James Fry was the author who wrote his memoir, which became a massive blockbuster hit called A Million Little Pieces. But then Oprah slammed him on international television for marketing his memoir as a true story when it was in fact almost completely fiction. That James Fry. Of course, this is the holy grail for media producers in the digital age. They want to extend the story's capacity to make money, right? I mean, uh, 40 years ago, it was, you know, create a great book, and then it was create a series of books, and then it was create a series of books with a multi-movie deal. And now, of course, we want the augmented reality attached to it because that is a process that can be scaled. You can maintain that much easier than writing a whole new book or producing a whole new movie, and there are endless possibilities for it. Just imagine for a moment if we had an augmented reality game for Game of Thrones, for example. We could have a game that teaches wives how to properly treat their geek husbands. Pull him to you close, look in his eyes, look at his lips as you bite yours, and then lean over and whisper, a Lannister always pays his debts and stab him in the gut while his mother watches. <laughs> oh, geeks love that stuff. But what I find really fascinating here is that although James Fry may be a liar, he is a fantastic storyteller. And that's what augmented reality needs. Not just the technology, but a great, compelling, engrossing story. And I think James Fry can deliver. I'm looking forward to it. What new phone has been added to the Google Play Store? That's right, it's the Moto G. And many of you have asked me about my favorite entry-level phone under 200 bucks, and the Moto G has gotta be right at the top of that list. And now that it's a Google Play edition, you get vanilla Android. Enjoy. Thanks for watching Android Peeps, my name is Jace. I would love to connect with you here on Google Plus or Twitter. If you found this helpful, kindly give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. You don't wanna forget about my brothers in Android, Josh, Joe, and the Tech Ninja Kevin. They're all working very hard to deliver the best content for you. I shall see you next week on Android Weekly.